These cunts, Laredo couldn't protect the port from a drunk lumberjack, let alone Yorveth. He succeeded so far, Roach. The port is rotting away, and this prick throws fireside feasts. A ballista! The bastard's got a ballista. You know the power of this weapon. Hmm. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. Yeah, an experienced crew can release two bolts each minute, but it can't hit the same spot twice because it recoils and shifts. I've heard that somewhere before. Where did you learn about ballistae? I knew someone who knew a bit about them. Unimportant. We need to damage it if we don't want to be at Laredo's mercy. They're all drunk here now. I'll provoke the guard. Relax, Roach. I don't want to fight this rabble again. As long as that weapon's operational, no one will sail this section of the Pontar without Laredo's express permission. I'll handle this. Go have a drink. Ooh. Where is the ballista? Why are we antagonizing... Oh, here it is. Why are we antagonizing Laredo so much, though? I feel like we're kind of at his mercy already just because... We're in Flotsam right now. This is not your jurisdiction. So why are we acting like we're trying to own the place? Huh. So this is the inside portion. I thought this was a house. Oh, there's someone up there too. No, this is like the... The commanding compound place? The inner castle? <sighs> it's just soldiers chilling out around here. Can we see the map actually? We can, but we can't see anything here. Laredo's residence. Whoa, okay, wait, so he does live here, but it's like... Whoa, it's like a mansion here, what the heck? Damn. Huh. I don't get the impression that he's a good ruler or anything, but I don't know about messing with him. Taking that, just because I can. Don't you traipse around here. No? Don't you traipse around here. It doesn't seem like we can just... Yeah. Don't... Okay, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Ooh. It's locked. Alright. Huh. Find a way to disable the ballista. Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's true. You know this one. A little apple skipping down the path. Plamel, plamel. Along came a dwarf and kicked him in the arse. Plamel, plamel. Oh, you are fat, dirty, rotten scum. Plow more, plow more! Do that again, and I'll fuck you, ma'am! Plow them all! You've had your song. Care for some real diversion? I hope that guy never opens his mouth again. That was not... <laughs> that was not the voice of an angel. He's gonna steal Laredo's stuff casually because... because they leave it lying open here. Oh, why can't I get this? No? Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's true. You know this one. Again? Oh no. Let's get away from here. What you want, old man? Oh, arm wrestle? Oh, again? I don't know about this. I was looking to test my strength. Arm wrestling. What do I stand to gain? Nothing, because I'll thrash you. And if I win, you'll have beat a witcher. So I guess that gets you bragging rights. Are you that good, old fella? The Grey Wolf. Mm. Yeah. Right. Let's begin. You've had your song. Okay. Hopefully everything goes well this time. I already adjusted it, so. Whoa. Well, Whoa. Well, no. Uh, 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 it, it's a little. It's a little slow, but I think we can manage. Ho oh, oh, ho. Uh, uh. Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's true. You know this one. Oh. No, that guy is singing again. But we did it. Damn the dogs! The old man got me. I need to eat. Build up a bit. Okay. Is that guy just gonna keep singing this whole time? Jesus. Did you hear? Two big shots arrived. Wonder what they want. Talking about me and Roach? Hey, where'd he go anyway? Tend to the ballista, Geralt. No passage. <laughs> Whoa, he just points a crossbow at me. Seems kind of dangerous. <laughs> Add plow into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Greetings. Your uncle's got a story mm. for you. 
Oh, so there's a bard here. To tell it. I'll not lend an ear huh? for less than ten orange. What do you need, ugly? Ugly? Ugly. Well, you ain't exactly handsome. Ouch. But. I wouldn't worry. Women prefer ugly men to groomed dandies. And you're ugly something mighty. Care for a romp? Can't just now, but I'll find you later in town. What's your name? Margarita. Oh, hi, Margarita. I wanted to surprise my friend, the sad-looking guy by the ballista. Ah. Some idiot wanted me to read him poems recently. Extravagance, as I say it, I didn't like it. I was thinking of something a little more traditional. What would you have me do? Well, your specialty is probably sleeping with him. But I'm interested to see what she has up her sleeve. I don't really care. Just get him away from the ballista. Oh, now you've got me doubting he's your mate at all. Uh-oh. But I'll not pry. It'll cost you double. That's steep. I may be a simple girl, but I know at least a few men who'd give you trouble if I told them what you've asked of me. Pay me, and it'll stay between us. I mean, no point in giving brutes and louts a good reason to perfect their skills, eh? <laughs> I forgot! Dandelion was telling me earlier in the inn that everybody in this town nickels and dimes you. God damn it. Oh, but we can try paying non-monetarily? A favor for a favor? There is one thing you could do for me. And that is? Myron and Alphonse, two of Laredo's thugs. Give him a good thrashing, and I'll even blow... I stirred Ooh. up enough trouble as it is during the execution. No need to stir trouble. Just humiliate them some ways. Consider it done. Myron and Alphonse? Alphonse, that's the guy that we just arm wrestled, right? Does arm wrestling count as humiliating? Ah, okay. Good. So where's Did Myron then? One of these guys? Myron! They say witches Oops. have no Nothing need to dwell. Than a fireside feast. Did you know that? <laughs> That's, That's not true. I have a mighty I need. I don't like freaks. And I don't like oafish no necks. What do you want, mutant? Yeah. To try my luck. Arm wrestling. I'm gonna crush you, mutant. Save the boasting till later. Let's do this. Okay, don't touch <laughs> the settings anymore the after this. I think I got it working now, finally. Oh. oh! No, 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 no! no. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle uh, uh, uh. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear for less than ten oh. orans. I hate mutants like you. I know, I know. I get told that every day. Hey, level up, level up. Nothing better than a fire. I have one talent now. Hmm. These paths are still locked. So at this point, I really only have to look at this area here, which is not too bad. But like later on, oh, I I don't really like it when they. Yeah, because I'm not good at this whole micromanaging attributes and character skills and whatever. So I think I'll have to like really look at all of them first. But uh, for now, let's see. We already have level 2 of 2 for this one, Vitality. 1 of 2 for parrying. Parrying? Honestly, I need to do it more. I don't do it at all right now. Fortitude? Vigor regeneration? Yeah, I mean, it's nice to have it, but I don't need it. Dagger throwing? Again, something that I haven't really been doing. Vigor regeneration out of combat. Why is this useful? Because if we're not in combat, then I think we can probably wait out whatever we need to wait out. So I don't think this is crucial. Arrow redirection. We can try it out. Yeah, this sounds really complicated. Sounds like something Matrixy, but I guess we'll just have to see. Do you want? Ooh. Oh, they're open now. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna have to take some time to really look into it. Mage. Oh, I think um I was reading the comments, and I think most of you said that it's better to focus on one branch because otherwise. I'm not going to be good at anything, and that's... that's no good. So... oh man, how do I get out? Here. We have the mage, magic development, alchemist, and also swords master. Okay. What's alchemist? Oh, like making oils? Potions? Okay. And then this one, I guess, is for my signs. Signs are not a bad thing, because... 
They're an easy way to get some damage in, although right now I'm still not really using too much other than Ard and Igni. And the occasional... Quen? Swords Master seems like the most basic one that would be good for me, but you know what? I'll take some time to look into this later, not right now. Yeah, oh, there's a lot going on here, okay. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> and flowers. Hmm? Myron and Alphonse. Teach them a lesson yet? Of course. All right. I'm off to give the boy some diversion. Oh, thank you. Luckily, the Commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story for you. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear for less than ten orans. She really wants to be here. I'm on duty. Oh, come on. Your comrades are well at it having their fun. Why should you be any worse? You're right. Let's go. <laughs> he got convinced really easily. But it does kind of suck, though. Everyone's having fun, and he's the only one on guard duty here. Nothing better than a fireside feast. Do they? Oh my! Oh my <laughs> God! You can actually like see what she's doing and stuff. Jesus! <laughs> okay, we gotta we gotta <laughs> hurry it up. Into the mix and it doesn't get Ballista any mechanism fragment. Luckily, the commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story for you. Oh my god. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not like lend an ear for less than ten orans. Oh. They stopped talking. They're done. <laughs> Damn, that was, uh, that was graphic. Margarita, you can come out now. Thank you for your... Thank you for your help. Okay. Alright. Hey, Vernon. Where are you? Are you still here? Where is Vernon? I see on the map. He's on the. Is he here? Yeah. Laredo's busy with that witch Sheila. Come back later. Oh, Get Sheila's on. here. Let's wait downstairs in the yard. Sheila's here. Oh. With Laredo. We don't really know too much about why Sheila's here, besides for the official story. She wants to kill the Karen so she can get some money, but she is from another place. Another place that's not Temeria entirely, so... I don't know, maybe she's here for something else too. Yes? Do we wait until the Honorable Lady is done with the Venerable Hick? Waste of time. Looks like a good number of Flotsam's town watchmen are here. We should look around. Did you see that arbalist behind the house? I'll get his attention. Give him something to think about. Why don't you find out what they're guarding so closely? My apologies, gentlemen. I could not help overhearing your conversation. Wow. What do you want? In point of fact, it's a matter for the Witcher. I have an offer. <laughs> Isn't... Aren't we supposed to be all secretive and stuff? Someone just randomly overheard me? Uh... An offer. Interesting. I suspect you did not come to Flotsam for pleasure alone. You suspect right. Do you know about the monster in the river? Does he not know that I was hired to kill it? Sure, sure. What monster? I expect someone will hire you to deal with it sooner or later. Thus, I presume that... Stop presuming, expecting, and concluding. Just tell me what you want. Our honored host is in possession of part of a trap, built especially for the beast in question. Go on. Around back, there's a storage area where Laredo keeps the treasures he confiscates from merchants and travelers. There are heaps of things out there. Let me guess. You know exactly where I need to look. Precisely. I saw Laredo's men carrying the contraption across the garden in a crate. They placed it on a platform by the wall, beyond which lies the craftsman's district. Why are you telling me? Why? We need to be rid of the beast as soon as possible. Good luck. All right. I'll distract the guard. You sneak behind the house. A trap. Brilliant as ever. So it's a good thing that we did this before going to the Karen then, huh? Because otherwise, getting the trap to kill it... Soldier! Report to me immediately! ...would not be useful. Seriously? That worked? Soldier, report to me. <laughs> not even of the same... same group. What do you want? Shut it, soldier. I'm guessing we don't want that guy seeing us, right? Or spend the rest of your life on the king's galley.
Alright. Someone else here? Oh, can we can we stun him? Just trying to make sure I didn't pick herbs instead of stunning him. But I will pick it anyway. Um, we probably shouldn't dawdle. But uh, I'm trying to look on the map right now, the blue dots. It's locked. Wait, oh. Is it okay that that guy's behind us? Hopefully. Oh, here, okay. Oh, dude, his house? Is this his house? It's huge. Mm, I need some bushes or something. No one around here? Oh, this is the other side of the, the locked place, I think. I want to turn off those torches if we can. Oh, shoot! Did she see me? Ho, 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 ho! Ho, ho! I'll have that anyway. Come on, come on, come on. She might see me. Oh, there's a lot of people here. There is a lot of people here. What if they see someone who is knocked out? That's a concern, too. Just take it. I'm not even looking at it. Oh, I don't like this. Do you think I can do it? Because I don't. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho oh, ho oh. ho 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 ho! Oh my god. Maybe I can come here. Is there another person here? Because I see a blue dot. Maybe just the... Oh shoot. Oh, okay, I thought that was a person. <laughs> Better turn that off. Alright. So there's multiple exclamation mark... Oh. Are we trying to get into the house or... Wait, where did that guy say we were trying to go again? Something about crates and platforms? Better be here. Just trying to make sure that no one's down here. I don't think anyone's down here. But I don't- I also don't see anything down here. Oh, maybe this is a time for me to have the cat potion, huh? Cause it would really help with me seeing everyone through the walls too. And the darkness. I'm gonna try and see if I can go for a little while longer without it though. Because the coloring, the coloring of everything after you take the cat potion, kind of makes it weird. Hey, can you turn that off? Uh, there's nothing here as far as I can tell. So maybe the trap fragment is just... Am I stuck? Am I stuck? Hopefully not. If anything goes south, I can't meditate, <laughs> like in the middle of combat, right? So I can't take a cat potion in the middle of combat. Hold on, is there something on the desk there? Oh, so promising, yet yeah, there's nothing. Nothing, as far as we can tell. Okay, sure. There's no nothing here. Why? Why is this place here then? There's got to be something of interest. What about this door? Oh, we can't go in. Okay. Mm. 
forget about the herbs for now. It's not a place that we can go to. Do we want to check the journal out, just to make sure? <laughs> when Geralt realized Lorito's important business was with the sorceress, he nearly gasped. <laughs> you should know that the Witcher is extremely partial to sorceresses and never misses an opportunity with one. <laughs> no, no, no. Yes. One of the merchants invited to the party told Geralt to get a piece of the trap for the Karen. To a chest standing on a wooden platform by the wall. Okay, yes, something about the platform and the crates. Over here, I think there were uh, there was a whole bunch of crates, but there was still one more person patrolling. So if we can, let's get rid of that guy first. Yeah, you can see him right there. Just want to see him walk away a little first. Oh, that's the chest probably. Do we want to risk it? Doesn't seem like he's coming over here. Oh, but this is how you get into like... Oh, I feel like you get into Sheila's place like this. Hold on. Maybe I want to get down first. Oh my god, I'm sweating here, man. If we mess up, what's even gonna happen? Because I'm assuming we're not gonna get a chance to do it again. Yeah. And Lorito's gonna be like, what the hell were you sneaking around in my backyard for? There's nothing we can do to distract that guy, is there? Nothing like rock throwing? No? He's not moving at all. I thought he was moving before. Hmm. I think... Yeah, so there's two exclamation marks here. Can we see it here? We just know that it's related, like one of them... Maybe one of them's the trap, one of them is where we're going? Hey dude, do you wanna like... Move? <laughs> okay, that works. So what were you looking at? Nothing. Jump over? I hope that's something that we can... Like, we can come back, right? Um... Twine. We got crates here. Ooh, ooh! Is that a trapdoor? Hold on. There's a lot of stuff here. The chest? Iron frame. Witcher's robust silver sword. Astrogaris' armor? Ooh! Ooh! I think I got a diagram for a new sword. Damage 12 to 18. Hey, what? Am I not holding anything right now for- What? Where's my swords? What? I got them back earlier, didn't I? Am I not holding anything? Oh! Cause I gave it up at the party. Yeah, I gave it up when I walked in here. The guy was like, no, no weapons. Right, okay, never mind. I think it's better than the one I have right now, though, so if we can craft it, that would be good. Um... Climb? No, let's check out the trap door first. Locked. Okay. I don't know if we got the trap thingy that we came here for. Just now, when we picked up a whole bunch of stuff from the chest. Hopefully that was the chest that we were looking for. Wait. Jump down. No, 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 no. Wait, is there a reason why we can get up here, or...? Is this it? Thought we could go a little further. Yeah, like maybe get into this area? No? No? Well, alright. Can we actually look into our inventory a little bit closer? Just wanna make sure, do I have the thing or not? Oh, the armor, by the way. This one has higher vitality. Same armor. 
Resistance of damage from magic. Bleeding, poisoning. So this one has higher vitality, but lower percentage for the resistance to poison and bleeding. I think I'll take raw vitality. Yeah. <laughs> if I wear this now, are the people gonna be like, Hey, that looks like- that looks like the armor I kept in the chest in my backyard. How did you- how did you get that? <laughs> Would the trap be a quest item or a trap? Because we don't have a trap right now. Quest item? Oh, maybe it's the iron frame! Yeah, maybe that's it. It's just that I don't really know what the overall thing is, so like I don't have any concept of what this is gonna become. Are we gonna put the the old man in the frame? <laughs> I think we're done here. And we can also open the door this time. No need to sneak. No one came back. We can loot all their stuff though, of course. What was that? Was that the door? Orins. Oh, we can also get a a makeshift weapon here. Although it's probably still not a good idea to equip it, because you know earlier they were like no weapons. So if we walk out of here with a weapon, that's probably not gonna look too good for us. Oh, we can't open that chest, really? Oh man. There's actually a lot of stuff here. Just herbs though. Yeah, herbs. Okay, let's get up. I feel like someone like Sheila would probably know that we're here. Ah, not again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You forget who you're dealing with, Commandant. You must think me an idiot. I cannot help myself. You take guardsmen off the streets to guard carpets, fabrics, and spices pilfered from merchants. Do you have any grasp of the responsibility that rests with you? Don't teach an old man to piss, sorceress. I've ruled Flotsam for years. Flotsam is ruled by a fear of your death. That fear rules even you. I've made my demands perfectly clear. Like a crying babe deprived of its rattle. In time, Commandant, they'll hang you by the neck from a roadside tree like a regular bandit. And rightly so, for you're no better. Your time will come too, sorceress. They'll pile kindling at your feet. Enough. Fear has confused you. Think over what I said and give your answer before it's too late. She has a proposal for him. Why does he keep walking back and forth? It's making me nervous. Oh. Okay. Go back and talk to Roach. Am I going back that way? The way that I was at earlier? Oh! Don't mind if I do. 50 orange. It seems like they want me to go back to the... the other side of the door here. I don't actually know though. Really? Maybe now we can get through? Just kidding. Just kidding. Why would you ever think that? Of course not. I guess we just go back the way we came from? It's hard to tell. <laughs> I can't tell at all. Where is Vernon? In the beginning? But we can't go back that way, can we? Because that guard will be there. Okay, whatever. Let's just... We'll figure it out. Let's just walk around. This whole place is empty now. Even if they can't... Even if they don't catch me in the act, I feel like they would know it's me because... Who else would take out all the guards like this? It's kind of suspicious. We can't go through here because it's still locked, but we can climb back this way. Hey Roach, I came back with new armor. Now if I remember right, the very beginning guy, we didn't actually knock him out, so we might have to be careful here. Shh, shh, shh. I can't see. <gasps> oh, that was a close one. Let's get out of this party, guys. Hey, Vernon. Didn't like him from the start. 
Laredo's storing valuable gifts from the merchants right here. Oh, yeah. He may be expecting Yorvith to attack. I overheard the Commandant talking to Sheila. I couldn't pinpoint the topic of their conversation, but it seems to me he's angling for something. We'll see what he has to say. Sheila proposed something to him. That's what it sounded like. Oh, yes, now we're officially at the party. Right. Hey, you're back. How you doing? <laughs> go in. They await you. Where are we to go? I'd hardly call this a hut. You. I mean, you, sir, cannot enter. We've been ordered to let in the Witcher, but no one else. Son of a bitch. Fine. He wants to play hard, we'll play hard. I don't want any trouble. I'll call for support. No need. Tell Lorito I got the message. See you, Roach. Why was he even invited Clown then? <laughs> squirrels. I'd put him in their place. Good old talk. Prove it. I doubt anyone would stop you. We're Hello. Too soft on him. That's it's the problem. definitely my first time here. I've never been in this place before. I've never looked inside. Here to see the Commandant. We have business to discuss. Good luck. He's in a foul mood. Why? We'll talk another time, and definitely elsewhere. You go after the women. Probably you you're the one who put him in a bad mood. So, the oh. Turn into squirrels. Oh, this and is a mailbox. Be no more it's a mailbox. I can search. Key required. I don't have a key. But... Also, keep in mind that there could be another boat wreck. Oh. Wait, what? Mystic River. When I found the post box, I thought that it could also contain secret information carried by special couriers. Lorito's letters would be an interesting to read, so without a second thought, the Witcher resolved to get his hands on the contents of the mailbox. But we also put in the parcel from the shipwreck into the box. I can tell you it reached its addressee and caused quite a stir, but that's a topic for another story. Well, we have to find the key somewhere if we want to, like, open that up. Laredo's here. What about up here? Entry only on the Commandant's express orders. Off you go. Okay. Fine. His house is huge! Multi-floor? Really? Finally! They didn't want to let me in while the sorceress was here. Did you see her? Made up like a whore on parade day. They think they can do anything, those sorceresses. I heard what happened in Tamaria. You know your name's on a warrant. It's unfortunate. Now nothing that should impede our dealings. See, I'm the law around here. And the law needs to know what the legendary White Wolf's doing in this cesspit. Um, hmm. I think we should tell the truth here. Because the Kingslayer is with the Skoyatel, Yorverth, right? Or Yorveth? Forgot his name. But, um, yeah, and he hates those guys, so if we tell him about this, he's gonna be like, Oh, yeah, we're buddies, we're on the same side, I'm gonna help you out with my resources. Is how I'm hoping it'll go anyway. I'm looking for the man responsible for Foltest's death. Here? I know the Scoyatel had a hand in it, too. It's their trail I followed to Flotsam. Lucky you found Bernard Lurido, then. If you're telling the truth, your vet's got raw blood on his hands. I can help you find him. Beautiful. Beautiful. That worked out exactly how I wanted it to work out. Uh, he doesn't have to know that part. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, why don't you trust each other? This is not... <laughs> if we say this, we could endanger our very delicate partnership. So we'll just choose to not address that information for now. What about Vernon Roach? Why didn't you let him in? Roach? Know the aura that surrounds him? Men like him act first and think later. And when they act, almost inevitably innocent blood flows. I trust you're on our side. Whose side is that? That of the people of Flotsam, of course. Terrorized by the elven bandits for years now. If we didn't go around to the back, we would be like, Oh, Laredo, you're such a caring ruler, blah, blah, blah. Until we realized that he was stealing stuff from the merchants and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no, it's, it's none of my business. Hopefully you won't get mad about that. A local conflict, none of my business. You killed some elves on the riverbank outside Flotsam. We were attacked. You failed to understand. 
It's you who doesn't understand, Lorito. To tell you the truth, I'm not human. You an elf? What? A dwarf? No, talking bollocks. I piss on the fact that they call you freak for your white hair and glowing eyes. You're a human like any other. We're fighting a war. And you, my friend, cannot straddle the fence. Hmm, we're back to the central conflict here. Are you human, Geralt, or are you non-human? You can't, you have to pick. It's not like you have to pick being human or being non-human, but you can't just be like, Oh, well, I don't want to get involved. What about the elves and dwarves in the trading post? The smiths, peddlers, and hunters? They eat with you, sleep among you. Whose side are they on? Hell if I know. That's my point, Witcher. When you fight for survival, you need to be sure who your friends are. The non-humans in Flotsam, sure, they eat, fuck, shit among us. But when Yorveth sounds the battle horns, who knows what they'll do. We don't know, but if they wanted to stand with the Scoia'tael, they would be with them right now. Yeah, I mean, I I want to say they chose Flotsam, but we don't really know them that well either. I'm surprised they haven't turned on you already. How so? The town guards treat non-humans like shit. Frankly, I don't know what keeps them here. I'll tell you what, Geralt. The hunger they'd face in the forest. But I grant you, those acts of uh, insubordination need to be stopped. Soldiers are simple men. When you see your mate die, a Scoia'tael arrow in his throat, it's hard to look favorable at the elf who sells your wife colored kerchiefs. You're a witcher. Your job is to protect the simpletons from monsters. I protect them from the danger that lurks amongst the trees. I can't say that's not true. No, I, I do... yeah. Because I think it's sort of a part of being human or non-human, I guess. It's kind of like how nowadays, when the Olympics are on, even if we don't follow a sport or a specific athlete, if we see someone from our country do well, then we're happy, right? So it's like somewhere deep inside all of us. We have this feeling of camaraderie with people who are like us, similar to us, and people who are not like us. We, we might be instinctively a little bit more cautious of them. I'm sorry, all that talking, I completely forgot what you said at the end there. Um, I don't want to call him a racist. I see where this is going. Yorvith's no better than a monster that attacks those who go out to gather kindling. Matter of fact, he's worse. He's smarter and crueler. How do we get him? I don't want you to kill him. Even you don't have a hope against his entire force. I have an idea, but I'd rather not go into it now. The squirrels are up to something. Every night their scouts come closer. I suspect they plan to attack the barge moored in the port. Uh-oh. What's on the barge? You mean who? Bandits, murderers, rapists. On their way to the dungeons at Drakenborg. As soon as... Their infamous leader joins them. The cherry on the cake and Bernard Lorito's crown trophy. Couldn't have put it better myself. As long as Yorveth remains free, humans, elves, and dwarfs will live alongside each other in deep distrust. I've got to learn what the pointy-eared rat is planning. How am I supposed to get that information? <laughs> you underestimate me, Witcher. True, I have my prejudices, but I'm not blinded by them. Take your friend Zoltan, for instance. He contacted Yorveth. <gasps> How can Zoltan help if he can't go outside the walls? <laughs> step by step, Geralt. That's how you build trust. You could start by tending to a problem we have. A beast. The Kairin has blocked all boat traffic. I'm losing tolls. Uh, that is, um, the trading post is losing revenue. <laughs> Kill the Kairin and I'll declare your friends acquitted of their crimes. Then Zoltan can take you to see Yorveth. We don't know anything about Yorveth so far. We've only talked to him for like two sentences. Uh, whoa, this is... There's a lot of variety in a lot of the dialogue options. It scares me a little bit. I don't want to commit. I have commitment issues. I'll talk to Zoltan. I trust you'll make the right decision. Farewell. Fine. Fine. That's why I came here? For your little talk? But what were you talking about with Sheila? That's what I want to know. Was I here earlier? I think so. Oh, yeah. Thanks, man. Thanks for the orins. And that's that. Any news for me, Witcher? 
You've got a heap of soldiers for such a small trading post. Bandits swarm to trading routes like flies to shit. Only troops can guarantee some order here. We're the last Temerian outpost in this area, and we'll not give in to a bunch of elves. I guess you're finding it hard to get rid of Yorvith. He's stubborn, it's true. But he's met his match. And I'm not about to leave Flotsam to the same fate as the other towns and villages the Scoyatella burnt to the ground. The citizens of Flotsam owe the elves nothing. They built their homes and workshops with their own hands in the wilderness, not on the ruins of an elven town. If need be, we'll remind the Longhears where they belong. Oh my god. Who's this guy? He said nothing so far. This is not someone important? Okay. Can we come back here anytime we want to? Because this key, this post, this mailbox. Entry mm. only on the Commandant's Express orders. Off you go. Hopefully we can come back in here, because otherwise... Passage. Okay, alright, fine, we're going. Haven't had this good a right. time in ages. Is Roche still here? You know this one. Neither we'll again. Neither Roach nor Lorito trust each other. I think we're just leaving now. You've had your song. Care for some real die. I'm out of here. Don't forget your blade. Did you put it here? Hmm. Oh my god, now I gotta like put them back in the right pocket and whatever now? That sucks. No! Oh, he fell asleep instantly. So it seems like at least for this night, we can't go back in. Oh, then I wonder if... Oh, I worry about the mailbox and the key. I worry, but I think it'll be okay, because otherwise, they wouldn't put it in the... Mystic Water here, right? Yeah, the Witcher resolved to get his hands on the contents. Well, hopefully that resolution is gonna get us somewhere. Yeah, it's still here. Okay, this is not good because I have too much stuff I'm carrying again. How did this happen? Oh, this really sucks. Every single time I gotta like do this... I got too much crap. Temerian sword and Moonblade. Yup. And then for... No, put it here, put it here. I gotta find a merchant. Which means that I should probably make it daytime again so that we can look around this time. Anything we haven't read here before? I don't think so. No. Okay. Yeah, small blackjack, blah, blah, blah. 308. Anything we can throw away right now? But I wanna sell all of this stuff. Wait, two. What's heavy? What's heavy? Shovel? Shovels p kill them, bury. Okay. Whoa, the damage on this thing is actually not that bad. Yeah, my Temerian sword is 11 to 14. This one's 9 to 13. That's not that big of a difference. But this is really heavy, so I'm gonna I'm gonna drop it so that we can walk around. Thank you. Thank you. I tell him I'm taking your pouch, or your pouch and your life. What did he say? He said there's a third option. Then his hand inched towards his knife. Nervy. What then? He got a bolt in the back. Oh. Too bad he turned out to be poor. The poor ones are always uppity. Mm. We're all hanging out around here. Is the merchant still we here? We remember? Welcome. I stood at the gate to the outskirts. Oh, really? Really? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Wait, you were at the gate to the outskirts? Does that mean that you saw me massacre everybody? What do you want to prove with those swords? <coughs> yes! Have all my spare weapons, because I really don't think I need 20 rusty daggers. And short swords. And small blackjacks. Probably not the sword either. Uh, we should look into... Ah, oh, I can't compare my swords. Mm. What's heavy? Apparently, Drowner Brains are pretty heavy. Because <laughs> I have quite a few of them. Come on, Diamond Dust is heavy? Really? 
Oh, no, it's because I have alchemy enabled here. How do I put it to all? All. Ooh, that's way too many iron ores. It's heavy. Heavy stuff. Timber. Raven's armor. I don't know if I should sell this yet. Maybe I'll just put it in the place. We don't need light leather armor. Jacket. Long sword. I think we don't need that. Yeah. We don't need that. We don't need that. Trousers. Forget about it. I'm sure if it's important, we'll find a way to get it back somewhere. Hopefully. Oh god. Herbalist gloves. Yeah. Junk. Oh yeah, junk. We can sell junk. Forgot. Sell all this. All of it. Encrusted silver medallion. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And if we're being really stingy, when the oldest uh, bird was Lerino around, turned his nose was we can even pick up the you think he was shovel again. Himself, <laughs> among his lessers. Glad we made the deal. True enough. There's probably not Sometimes too much at night. Just grit your teeth and bite no. back later. Hello? Can I just come into your home randomly? Is that a thing? Hello, ma'am. Ooh. Leather? Warrens? I wouldn't mind a donut about now. Oh, you're a guard. A guard's house. <gasps> oh, encrusted silver ring. Thank you. Thank you. You're so kind. You're much too kind for me. Magic and power. What's that? Sorcerer is the name customarily applied to male persons capable of commanding the power. Though it is but one of the many terms or phrases, most of them highly unflattering to have been used over the ages. These terms have ranged from the rather respectful title of Wise One to the somewhat less specific Bloody Son of a Bitch, the Plague Tigum. As for the women of this persuasion, that is, sorceresses, they have been called everything from Arch Mistress to a colloquial expression I will not repeat out of regard for the language and respect for the female gender. <laughs> The command of the power these mages possess sets them above mere mortals, which can be good or bad. From the dawn of time, history remembers mages either as pure-intentioned and courageous heroes, or as rogues bereft of reverence and faith. Human memory tends to remember the latter for longer, which may be why common folk mostly hold people of this profession in contempt. They're just scared. They're jealous and scared, just like they are of witchers. Because you can do things that they can't. And that makes people scared by nature. Is there any quest that we can do here? Hey, so we managed to cross one off the list now, making me feel a little bit better. But we do have a lot of side quests, so we should tackle them before we go into any of the... Well, actually... A matter of price. Oh, we have multiple ones for the Karen. Oh, I got it so that, yeah, the merchant's willing to pay double now. Osmerk, we still gotta go back to the forest to find this. And, uh, in the Claws of Madness, find the ruined hospital. I think this is also in the forest? This one sounds scary. I don't know if I want to do it. Necker contract? We don't know where the Necker tunnels are. They're not marked. And Drega? I hope they're marked, but we don't know. Troll, we gotta find the head. We gotta find a head, it's in somewhere in Lobinden. Yes. Flotsam, arm wrestling. There was a guy that said, Hey, come find me outside the inn during evening time, and I'll bring you to where the real opponents are. Don't know where that guy is. I earn the right to play Einar Gausel. This is for... Dice poker? God. Dice poker is so much harder in this one, I feel like. In one, it felt like, ah, well, I can still win, but this time, I can, like, play it 20 times and win, like, once. It's not good. Fight Club. Oh, yeah, this is the guy. Meet Ziggy by the inn in the evening. Do we want to do that right now? Is it evening right now? Cave? What? There's a cave beneath Flotsam. Oh, right, this is the, the guards being like, oh, this elf woman made two people disappear. There's a lot of missing people here. Yeesh. Let's try to see if we can do Fight Club right now, because uh, it's evening right now, so yeah. Hopefully it is evening. 
We should actually walk around while it's daytime here, though, because I'm sure there's a lot we haven't seen yet. I was thinking... About what, new boy? New boy! Maybe we ought to try some honest work from time to time. New boy, my friend will now tell you something very important. Listen carefully and take it to heart. Yeah, what? Never, ever say that again. <laughs> honest work is for losers. Okay, I can see the the exclamation mark here already. So hopefully the dude is still here. There's a whole bunch of people. Merchants? Around the same area too. Something's troubling me. Let's hear it. The boys What's going on there? That's how they get their geese. But hear me when I say an orange's a tiny price to pay. Stop talking over each other. Cause he's a human like That's us. terrible. He King sweats, Ziggy. He bleeds. Who does King Ziggy behold? Given any thought to my proposal? Just in case. Give me the details. Only once you've made your mind up, my friend. For now, you'll have to make do with the lure of fame and coin. Or you can go on wasting your talents beating the dust out of drunkards around the inns. <laughs> Even the guards are what interested. Okay, fine. I'm ready. I'll explain on the way. It's just QTEs, right? Spit it out. Know what Flotsam's famous for? Nothing. <laughs> You're wrong there. There are only two towns worth visiting in the Pontar Valley. Bondar, famous for having the most beautiful hordes in the north, and Flotsam, for having the best fist fight in scene. Who organizes these fights? Officially, no one. But look hard and you'll be surprised what you can find. It's a vibrant scene with winners and losers of all kinds. I promote fi- Halt! Don't recognize King Ziggy? I know you. Who's the other one? He looks dangerous. Like all of King Ziggy's fighters. But well, that farmhand you brought in last time was carried out all broken in no time. This one will be different. You'll see. The Commandant himself will bet a fortune on him. All right. But if I'm to let him in, he has to leave all his weapons here. Oh my god, I'm going to have to reorganize them again when I come out. Fine. You're a rich man already. The weapons will be waiting in the trunk outside the gate. We're going back in already. We just no. That guy's gonna sing again. Laredo, in the flesh, does he condone these fights? Condone? He sets them up. A lot of coin at stake here. I haven't been too lucky lately, but I believe you'll change that. People will remember King Ziggy. Just don't disappoint me. Hey, these are pe these are different people. <sighs> Wanna dance, white Teddy? Wanna dance, white Teddy? A hero, eh? You oh. found me. Splendid. What? I dug through my coffers and happened on something you could find useful. I don't need it, but a monster slayer just might. Thanks. Who the hell are you? Matthias Tum? Do I know you? What did you just give me? Red something? You gave me red something. Red haze, did it say? Alchemy formula. A bomb. Okay. Oh, well, at least that singing guy's not here anymore. That's that's all good. Whoa! Thanks for opening the door for me. Lorito. Hey, man, Lorito, I'm back. Back again. Second time in the same night. Take that. Who are we fighting? Dude, this is the exact place we were at earlier. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, maybe that's where the trap. Oh, this area. Suck it to him. Ziggy the Clown returns. And in grand fashion, I've got a contender who's about to be famous. The Monster Slayer. How'd you talk him into fighting? King Ziggy has his ways. All in all, looks promising. We're about to make Flotsam famous for its mug fights. They'll sing songs about Ziggy and Geralt. You just win, and I'll take care of the rest. Ready? Wait, did you, like, make yourself my agent or something? Because I don't need an agent. And oh my god, I even came in here and turned off all the lights on purpose. <laughs> Guess we're fighting in the dark. Yeah, I'm ready. Grand. I'll hear you say my name with reverence yet. 
Twigs will be your first opponent. So cool because bones snap with his every punch. His bones. I love these pussies with cocky names. Finish the fucker off! Quite dark because of what I did earlier. Why am I naked? Is armor not allowed here? Suck it to him! Hey, don't go for the hair. What kind of an asshole goes for the hair? Finish the fucker off! Beautiful job rearranging his face. Who's next? One punch Matho. Name says it all. Downs most opponents with his first punch. Really? I'll see if I can't make him throw a second. Good luck. Stand your ground! Just don't let him punch. Suck it to him! As much as I like becoming famous and getting rich from this, it's also kind of sad. Finish the fucker off! You go through years of Witcher training, and now we're wasting our skills away on street fights. Stand your ground! You're the discovery of my lifetime. Think we're made for each other? Indeed, but we've a long way to go. Your next opponent is Smugface, also known as Tassel Dick. Not too popular then. He has tassels on his clothes. Last month, he bit his opponent's ear off. Ugh. What? Dude, that's not cool. Bring on this Tassel Dick. Stand your ground! You know, he was saying how underground this all was, but they have an entire arena here. It's not like... I mean, it's officially sanctioned by Lorito. Stand your ground! It's not hidden at all. Ah! Ah! Whoa! Thought I... Suck it to him! Everyone has so many tattoos. Finish the fucker off! One more and we'll be rich and famous. Who is it? Stanek. In a rumble, it takes at least four lads to take him down. Oh, whatever. I'll do it single-handed. Don't underestimate him. Witcher, come here a minute. It's impressive technique. Thanks. Last fight's coming up. And everyone's betting on the dead cert. You. Except for me. What do you want, Lorito? Stenek has to win. But the true winners will be you and me. A third of the jackpot's yours. And that's not an offer. What? No! Oh my god. This is difficult. But I don't feel like... Geralt would sell out himself just to make a little bit of cash. I mean, he loves money because everyone needs money to survive, but still... <laughs> Again, years of Witcher training amounting to fighting in the streets? No, I'm okay. I can make money other ways. I see. You're a regular con. Your opinions don't interest me. You ought to take a dive. That's that. Piss off, old man. Suck it to him! Whatever. We're not listening. I'm not gonna lose my streak because of this guy. It's small money. If we beat this guy and become more famous, then we can get Stand even more money later on, okay? It's all about the big picture here. This guy looks pretty frail. He's like an old man. Finish the fucker off! Who wants to take a dive again? Sorry, I forgot. Stand your ground! Pay up. Here's your coin. The guards will take you to the gate. You'll regret this. I told you we'd win. I've got a real sense for these things. I think you owe me something. Why don't we have some fun first? 
A free round at every inn, not to mention the girls. You can screw my share. 200 orins. 200 orins. Oh my god. We even have to face corruption here? And bribery? Seriously? Wait, which one is it? Uh... Poker face, was it? This one? No, that's for... Dice Poker Fight Club. Whether anyone liked it or not, Geralt became the fist-fighting champion of Flotsam. Other challenges would await him in the future, but the victory over Lorito was the sweetest. <laughs> they put in a lot of effort into writing the quest logs for this stuff. Because realistically, I don't think half the players are even going to see it because you're doing the quest already, so you wouldn't really be incentivized to look into the logs. I'm taking your pouch. Damn, so much effort. Wait! Nearly forgot my swords and armor. Holy crap. There's a third option. Should be right here. Well, it seems like we can go back in there pretty regularly, so not gonna be a problem, hopefully. I really hate how I have to keep like doing this every time though. Oh, we don't even have enough slots for this stuff. Where is my armor? Yeah. Gauntlets? Okay. What then? That's looking a little better. Too bad 